you brothers for that enchanting performance. Your voice have really filled this room with warmth and joy. And we truly appreciate your singing. Let us once more give them a round of applause. The media from Don Bosco Media Network, Shillong Province. The sound system by Frankie and Co. Our benefactors, friends, and well wishes. In the name of St. Dominic Savio Novitiate Community, Don Bosco Sunnyside, I would like to warmly welcome each and every one of you to the Karikma, a musical concert performed and staged by our 30 novices under the guidance of Father Pravir Minch, the Sochus, Father Kleinbor Wajri, the Administrator, Father Patrick Nongrang, the Confessor, Brother Marcelino Wajri, the Assistant. Thank you very much for sparing your valuable time and to come away from your busy schedule to be with us. You love and care for each one of us and that's why you are all here. Today is the 209th birthday anniversary of our father, founder, teacher and lover of the young St. John Bosco. It is also the bicentenary that is 200 years ago of his dream at the age of nine. The one act play entitled The Karikma depicts the journey of Don Bosco to proclaim Jesus Christ who suffered, died and resurrected for our people and especially the young people. He will transform them and form them messengers of God's love among the people of God and especially the young people in the world. I would like to thank my conference who are here, novices and the domestic staff of Sunset Community for organizing and generously contribute to the well-being of the community and who will make us to know Christ and his mission through Don Bosco. I pray and hope that you will learn and experience the power of a good Lord. May Mother Mary and St. John Bosco guide you all. Sit back and enjoy the show. Thank you.
I think Giovanni Bosco. They call him Don Bosco. Don Bosco? Yes. I heard he is opening Don Boasting School for Poor Boys. Ch Wait, I'll make chutney out of him. <laughs> but people say he is strong, robust, and well built. What about me? What do you say? I'll manage him single handedly. <laughs> hey, Quilo, that's him. Please. Hey, priest. What you doing here? Our enemy number one. Number one. Number one. Priest, we are having an argument here. Decide who is right. He said he is right. And I say I'm right. Now decide who is right. Come on, priest. You see, friends, <laughs> don't try to lecture. I have a blister in my ear. Hey, priest. I know you are holy. I saw you in the streets walking, praying with your beads, Hail Mary, blah, blah, blah. Take this. Hypocrites decides now. You are in a den of lions, priest. Speak up, or I'll pay your smash in your hat for you every word from your holy tongue. <laughs> My dear boys. Nope. My dear friends. No, 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 no friends. This isn't the right place for an argument out here in the street. Why not? It's not proper for us to argue in front of so many people. What do you say? Why don't we talk over a cup of tea over there? But who is going to pay for it? I, of course, since I gave the invitation. If I want, I can eat one full horse. One cup is nothing for me. Don't worry, my dear sir. Ooh. He called you a sir. You can surely have more than one cup of tea. Sir. So, what do you say? I am rather hungry. Let's go, Quilo. Let's go, then. Come, come. Follow me. Excuse me, waiter. <coughs> waiter. Yes, father. Please, can you bring my friends here some tea? Sure, father. Thank you. Please. Just see. Please enjoy. Come on, guys. Cheers. 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 Uh, wait, wait, gentlemen. Before you savor the tea, why don't we pray one Hail Mary? Seriously? I came here for tea, not for prayer. Don't try to fool us. I am not trying to fool you or anyone. Come on, let's Come drink. On. Come on. It's not much to ask of you. Just one Hail Mary. What do you say? I know your tricks, priest. You'll begin with a Hail Mary, and the whole rosary will come tumbling after it. My dear friend, I'm a man of my word. I said one Hail Mary, and I meant it. Come on, let us pray. <coughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, blessed are you among women. and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Blessed is the fruit of your womb. Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary. Holy Mary. Mother of God. Mother of God. Pray for us sinners. Pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 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 Come on. Good. Enjoy the meal. Cheers. So. How is the tea? Oh, it tastes great. Thank well, you. I'm so glad to hear that. I am having tea after 10 years. 10 years. <laughs> From the time I left home, 
I never got a chance to sip even a single cup of tea. Excuse me, as you see, I've got a huge stomach. One more cup, please. Oh, surely, please, please, have your seat. I'll call in the waiter. Excuse me, waiter. Waiter. Yes, father. Could you please bring my friend here one more cup of tea? Sure, father. Thank you. Please take your Go. Hey, hey. Hey, here, so please. For us, too. Oh, sure. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad to see you enjoying the tea and the small snack that comes with it. As you can see, we are friends now. Friends so fast. Why don't you come over to my place where you can enjoy full meals without any money. Without money? Without no. money? Yes, without any money. Well, if meal is assured, I can come at any time. Surely you are most welcome anytime, day or night, whenever you need help. My home is your home. Don Bosco, right? Yes. You are really a holy priest. Well, thank you. By the way, gentlemen, I have one question to ask of you. Question? Go ahead. When were your last confessions? Confession? 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 If you were to die tonight, how would it be? Would God be happy to embrace you? But we have forgotten all our prayers. Don't worry about that. It's never too late to learn them again. I don't mind going to confession. Well, I am here. But we are not prepared. You leave that to me. If that's the case, let me be the first one. Sure, sure, come, okay, come, come. Right over here.
with Christ as model of humility. We are sons of the Moscow with Christ as service of all. Only in Christ is unity and joy. Only in Christ is unity and joy. Padre. So, what brings you here? Well, Don Bosco, we appreciate the good works you're doing for the poor boys. The world needs people like you. Well, thank you, but praise the Lord. Well, God and nature have blessed you to be an influential writer. People love your writing. Well, I am flattered, but all the same, glory be to God. So, we would like to ask you to use your precious gift in the service of humanity and for the benefits of science, commerce, and arts. My dear sir, as you can see, I am a Catholic priest. I am devoted to the good of the church and to the good of the poor humanity. At the moment, I shall continue to promote the Catholic readings. Hmm. It would be better for you if you write good books for young people on, say, ancient history, geography, physics, but not Catholic readings. Why not Catholic readings? <sighs> that is of no advantage to you. People already know their religion. So, take up the project which we are recommending you. You will gain a nice sum of money. Here, take this in advance. This is only the beginning. What's the money for? To help and to encourage you. Pardon me, gentlemen. I won't take it. <laughs> At the moment, my only project shall be the Catholic readings. But that project is useless. If it's so useless, then why are you worrying about it? And why are you offering me this money to stop it? You don't realize what you are doing. If you reject, your life will be in danger. But I have done no wrong. And when I stand up for what is true, I am not afraid of anyone. You, a liar, a demon possessed, you take in these poor boys and force them to your religion? No, you are wrong, sir. I have never forced anyone to be with me. All I do is help them to be good Christians as regards religion and to be honest citizens in the civil society. Well, Don Bosco, 
accept that offer before anything worse happens to you. No. I thank you for your goodwill and the advice that you offer. But I think we are done. Sit down! You are making a mistake. You have insulted us. You have no choice, you know. Your life lies in our hands. Come on, do you accept our offer? I am sorry, sir. You, a stubborn priest, son of demon, who do you think of yourself? You won't escape priest. Choose now, or one of these chairs will be land on your head. I am not at all frightened by your threats. <laughs> I am strong enough, but the strength of a priest lies in patience and forgiveness. Please, go now. Don't angry me! I will drink your blood! Please, go now! Shut up! Rest in peace, please! Busetti! Busetti, boys! Relax! Relax! Cool down! Cool down! Gentlemen! It's nothing! Gentlemen, please, have a seat. Busetti, bring the tea. No thanks! We live now! All right. Goodbye. God bless you. My dear boys, they were my friends. You see, they had come to repair our furniture.
me to trust in God. They say he died for me. Hmm. But I care least about it. Heavens proclaim the glory of God. <laughs> but I glorify. Oh God. I believe that you have called me to help people like them. But how am I to do it? I don't know, Lord. I am helpless. Teach them the beauty of love and tell them the story of salvation. My dear boys, you seem discouraged, but don't worry. There is a God who loves hey, you. Stop this rubbish. Have you gone mad? Leave us alone, you holy priest. I can't take this anymore, Lord. Is this, is this what you want of me? It is not enough that you love them, but the most know that they are loved. You wait, again! Wait, wait. I think you are smarter than what I thought. You catch me if you can. Yourselves. God? Who is this God? Don't waste your time, guys. Wait, wait. I will tell you of God, and you will see miracles. Miracles? Yes. Hmm. Miracles. Come. Is proclamation of the central message of Christianity, especially as we have been told of his birth, death, and resurrection. This year we are celebrating the 200 years of the dream of Don Bosco. And today, as Father Master has already announced, today we are celebrating 209th birthday of our father and founder. Don Bosco. He is known as the dreamer. And at the age of nine, he had a dream. Dream of who he, what he was asked to do and what he wanted to become. And Don Bosco realized his dream because he was given a guide in the person of our Blessed Mother Mary. Dream, if you say, is something that comes in our mind, the ideas, involuntarily. And it is said that uh, every person spends almost two hours of dreaming every night. But to realize one's dreams, we need to arise or rise from our sleep. We need to wake up from our sleep. And Don Bosco did that. 
He realized his dream by acting. And he motivated himself. He decided to make his goal for working on taking care of the young people by deciding, deciding to study and decided to make sacrifices. Sacrifices are not very easy, but they are essential. Because to make our dreams come true, we need to decide. We had to choke out a goal for ourselves and we had to act on them. And that's what Don Bosco did. And he has shown us through his dreams we have got the, what's called the 40 dreams of Don Bosco. And through these dreams, he was made to see, he was made to visualize what he was to accomplish and what his congregation would be. And he worked towards that. And it was realized because as we heard in the first part of the welcome song, God is in control, and so we need to praise and thank the Lord. Today let us, and all of us, have a dream. All of you aspiring maybe to be priests, to be sisters, or aspiring to, maybe to be persevering in the goals that you have set out for yourselves. And to fulfill your dreams, to realize your dreams, you need to make it a desire, a passion, only then you need, you'll be able to fulfill your dream. As Don Bosco was guided in his dream, given a help and guide, you too will be, when you spend time in reflection, you'll be given that wisdom, that inspiration and the guide so that you can truly realize your dream. And each one of us has a purpose to be come into this world. What one we can achieve, no person can achieve. And so, my only message for you is that wake up, realize your dream, act on it, and be the person that God has created to be. That is the message for each one of us. God bless you, and thank you. And what not? He is present with us, it seems. But where is he? My dear boys, I did tell you of God Almighty. He is the one who created you and me. Who created this entire universe. Who created all things so good. You will see him.
hear the voice of Ezekiel prophesying to these dry bones. Live again, live again. Those who are sleeping, those in the grave, live again, live again. Those who are sleeping, those in the grave, live again. Preparing for war And I can hear Judah assembling Praises their weapon of war Live again, live again Those who sleep, those in the grave Live again, live again Those who sleep, those in the grave Almighty and all powerful, but why is there still evil persisting? My dear boy, God created this world so beautiful. He sent his prophets to revive it, but the human heart is inclined towards evil and it finds pleasure in it. Is there no hope? Who will save us? Never forget that God never ceases to love the world and his people. 
at the appointed time, he sent his only begotten son, born of the Virgin Mary. You call the others, I will tell you. Made of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will calm the storm?
Don Bosco. So we have a God who loves us so much that he died to save us. We never knew that, but now we feel the warmth of his love. Thank you, Don Bosco, for teaching us the story of salvation and sharing your faith with us. Don Bosco, we want to be always with you. I, too, will never leave you alone. For you, I study. For you, I live. For you, I am ready even to lay down my life. Don Bosco! Monk or no monk, we will stay with you.
I study for you. I work for you and I am also ready to give my life for you. This quote encapsulates Don Bosco's unwavering dedication to young people. It perfectly reflects his tireless efforts and sacrifices for their well-being and education. Saint Don Bosco received his eternal reward in 31st January 1888. Ever since then, the Salesians are carrying out his God-given mission all over the world. Once again, we have come to, our, to the end of our show. Let us give our brothers a big round of applause. To bring this evening to a graceful close, I would like to invite Father Sochers to propose the word of thanks as an expression of gratitude to everyone involved. Dear fathers, sisters and brothers, our Salesian cooperators, friends and well-wishers, it is with immense gratitude that I stand before you this evening. Your presence here is indeed a testament to the unending legacy of St. John Bosco. Through the play, Kerygma, Mission of Don Bosco, we have sought to illuminate the life and work of a man who dedicated his life to the young, his belief in the inherent goodness of every child, his passion for education, and his unwavering faith have inspired generations. We hope that we have done justice to his extraordinary legacy. In the first place, thanks and congratulations to our remarkable cast, the actors, singers, and musicians. Your performance have captured the hearts and minds of the audience. You have embodied the spirit of Don Bosco with such authenticity and conviction. Your dedication to your respective role is truly uncommentable. Thank you, dear brothers. I would also like to express my sincere appreciation to our talented crew, those behind the scene, the lights and sound in charge. Your technical expertise and support have been instrumental in creating the world of charisma, from the breathtaking set design to the captivating lights and sounds. Your work has elevated this production. A special thanks to our backstage team, Father Kleinbohr, Father Patrick, Brother Marcelino, and as our assistant, our assistant director for having taken care of the minutes, details, and doing the necessary arrangement. To our solution cooperators as well, thank you for taking care of the makeup. Your efforts have added color to this evening show. Also thanks to the media team from Don Bosco. Your very presence among us this evening speak volumes about your belief in our vision and mission of Don Bosco. May God bless you all. Don Bosco's dream was to build a great family of young people along with all collaborators in the vineyard of our Lord. This evening, we have felt a glimpse of that family spirit. I take this opportunity to thank everyone present here this evening. Thank you for coming, and I believe you have enjoyed the show. Let us carry forward his legacy by nurturing the potential of every young person we encounter. Thank you once again for being a part of this meaningful evening. May the spirit of Don Bosco continue to inspire and guide us all. Thank you.
melodious voices. We began thanking God, and so we will also end thanking Him, singing, Worthy is the Lamb, how great thou art. novices who really perform almost two hours play this practice only we took just two weeks we started on the second of this month until today and the leader novices really perform and incorporate so well 
with the director and us and director and the others. Once again, let's give a big hand to our novices.